Peace. This is a meat and potato sushi production starring myself, the Water Alchemist. And today's topic for the occult family is when the memory fades. We all know that when you reincarnate into this meat suit or this physical body, that you're stripped of your memories from previous lifetimes. But what many people don't know or they refuse to share this gnosis with you is that if you become a practitioner of magic, and you're really diligent and you're researching, you're studying and developing your craft, some memories, depending on how many years you are, but certain memories will be given back to you that can help you in the present reality. Now, this can come from either angels or demons, so it doesn't make a difference. So the more that you work magically, they will give you certain memories back. And the thing is, I keep beating this into the ground, but this is why I always encourage having a journal. And sometimes you'll be studying so much, you will forget certain things. It happens to the best of us. So you will forget certain things. And a journal is kind of like a psychological Rubik's Cube or a puzzle. So you'll start doing things. And then the more you develop and grow, it'll start making sense later on down the line. And I can't accentuate that enough because I was a huge anime fan. Um, besides Dragon Ball Z, I liked Inuyasha. But there was one particular show, and yes, I've watched One Piece and Naruto. But there was one particular show, it didn't stay on a long time, but it really grabbed me. It was called The Big O, about a negotiator, Roger Smith, and he had a gigantic robot. So basically, he was in Paradigm City, and basically he took care of certain problems there. But here's the kicker. 40 years ago, there was a tragedy that happened, and everybody was stripped of their memory. Not so much as what they could do inherently as a skill, but they don't remember who they were prior to the catastrophe in a city that's really supposed to be somewhat like New York. So towards the end of the series, it was another robot called Big Venus. Big Venus was another term for Lucifer because as we know, Venus is one of Lucifer's planets and we know that his number is 999. So you're stripped of certain memories. It's not so much by angels or demons, but there's a law that doesn't make sense here. Thank the Demiurge and the Archons for that. But they're a whole nother subject because many people not only are not humans, not only not full humans anyway, but you have a lot of people that are part angel, full angel. You have demons and i've known practitioners that have are no longer here they went right back to being a demon on the other side and i know people say well that's unvi unverified personal gnosis no that's verified personal truth okay we don't want the occult to become so-called western science and then next thing you're gonna start making it being peer reviewed so that doesn't help anybody and I want to show you an example from one of my journals because I have at least like three going on four. And this is dated May 3rd, 2022, where one of my guardian demons is Marboss, the president. Now, Marboss is he comes in the form of a lion and he helps with knowledge, wisdom, justice. But he also can help heal disease and depending on who your target is. He can give them a disease as well. And he rules the Uranian sphere in the Kalipoff. Now, that has slipped my mind. I wrote that like last year. So, it's, this is why it's so important to have this journal. When I was talking to Marboss, as well as Oribus and etc. Here's the thing. When you're doing this, they're, those demons are angels. Even when you think they're not at your house, they're at your house. My boss told me, oh yeah, we'd be there all the time. So one thing when you start developing out of your peripheral eye, etc., 
you will you will just see something go past you real quick or you don't know it but you just feel like something's watching me or and you may not have that gift you may be with somebody in your house you may be your child or your spouse or your significant other and they're like you don't see that that may not be your skill set but they sometimes will use someone who's close to you that has the natural gift to let you know that they're there. So by stripping you of your memories, certain beings are going to make it very, very hard for you. This is a race really you're not supposed to win. And the fact that you don't give up, that says something. Other thing, I always like to revisit stuff because I always like to, I feel maybe because I'm left-handed, but I feel that I always want to improve upon something always. So I rewatch Abraham Lincoln, vampire hunter, 2012, love that movie, but there was also the book. Now, you know, in Hollywood, they do creative changes, but what was so dynamic about the book is that Lincoln didn't die. He became an immortal. And he was even at the Martin Luther King, I have a dream speech that which was in August 1963, him and Henry. So when I consulted the vampires, they was like, do you know how many times you done encounter vampires? And this is way before I went to the vampire realm and met Zook. So when you strip the certain memories, certain spirits are going to make sure that you get some of those memories back. Just like the Demiurge, Archons, or even certain spirits that don't want you to get certain memories back. If you have allies, they're going to start turning the tide in your favor. So with that, that is your meat and potato sourcing for the day. I am the Water Alchemist. Be water, my friends. Peace.